YouTube, it's Daniel the Rocket Noob back with the Quest Superbird Rocket Build and I'm just going to do a quick one here to show you something really interesting that I just discovered. So if you remember from the last video we went over the instructions and found a few inconsistencies with the parts and stuff so I thought I would take a few pictures for my blog um, and uh, just do a little post on that uh, and I discovered something very interesting. So I dry fitted the uh, motor mount together and popped it into the rocket and look at this. You see that? Those centering rings are far too small for this rocket. I thought they looked a little small, um, but that is, it's like they've sent me the, wrong, the centering rings for the wrong rocket. So before I move on, I'm either going to have to make or find some centering rings that will fit this. I, I'm, I've got some BT-56 centering rings that might do the trick if I wrap a little bit of extra paper around them. Um, or I might have to just make my own, which is uh, I try, was going to try to avoid doing because, you know, cutting circles uh, of, of that size and getting them perfect is, is not something I'm terribly good at. Um, bright side, though, if I can find some centering rings or make some centering rings that fit, uh, I might just decide to go ahead and upgrade this to a D-powered rocket instead of a C-powered rocket because why not? You know, let's, let's live a little. Let's have a little bit of fun. All right. Um, I will talk to you next time when I figure out what I'm going to do about this. Okay, um, so I've gotten my little box of centering rings and I found some paper wound centering rings for uh, BT-56 and BT-55 tubes. Actually, these BT-56 centering rings, which are from a Canadian rocketry vendor called Sunward, uh, the website you order from, at least if you're ordering from the United States, is called sunward1.com. That's sunward with the number one dot com. And they do have some nice stuff. They are a little loose in uh, a BT-56. And when I've used them in the past, I've actually glued them in with epoxy since it's a little thicker um, and just sort of fills in the gap. Uh, the BT-55 rings are, I think, from brshobbies.com. And actually, they're a little bit bigger. Uh, than the BT-56 rings. Uh, these BT-56 rings actually fit into a BT-55 tube and they're pretty snug, but they will do the job. Now this tube for the Quest Superbird, if you remember, uh, is a little bit bigger than a BT-56 and so these are a little bit loose. They're almost the right diameter. Um, you can see there's a little bit of a gap Something I might do is I might try uh, gluing a, an additional ring of paper around these rings. Um, and they are just wound paper anyway uh, that's glued together, much like, uh, well, much like a, <coughs> a motor casing uh, from a model rocket motor. It's just wound paper, wound over and over again. Um, I do have some uh, black fiber board, uh, which is uh, used by johnrocket.com to make um, centering rings. But again, uh, cutting circles, uh, concentric circles of a precise diameter, and um, it's really not something I wanted to have to do for this particular rocket. I just wanted it to be a nice, easy build. Uh, so I'm probably going to go online and ask people... Uh, what they might suggest. I assume that this was just an accident of packaging and that normally the uh, when you order a Quest Superbird it comes with the right size rings and that these just somehow ended up in this package with the wrong size rings. So uh, you can order parts from Quest but again I don't really want to order a pair of centering rings for what's really just a you know really basic um, model rocket. So um, I'm just going to have to do some thinking, and again, this is a rocket, I don't really want to sweat it over it. Um, uh, I would like to build it, I just, I don't want to build it so badly that I'm willing to buy special parts for it. Um, so I'm going to have to make something. Okay, well, at this point I'm just rambling, so I'm going to say goodbye for now. Say goodbye, Superbird. Goodbye, Superbird. Bird.